Welcome to the how-to video for the Decision Strategies Qualitative Decision Tree Tool. Decision Strategies consultants have an average of over 20 years experience in their respective industries. As outside facilitators, we excel at teaching teams to frame their decisions, generate clear alternatives for consideration, and rigorously test these alternatives against a world of risks and uncertainties. If you're interested in speaking directly with a Decision Strategies veteran consultant, then contact us today www.decisionstrategies.com. To put this tool in context, let us step back and think about the entire decision-making process. Our goal is to make a confident decision. To do so, we must have alignment on what we are setting out to achieve. We must understand what our options are and consider how each option performs in a world of risks. This allows us to choose a strategy that best achieves our goal while also reducing our exposure to risks. Some organizations within companies are focused on making frequent decisions with limited time for analysis. Each decision may be of smaller impact, but in aggregate, they can make quite a difference. This tool is designed to provide a low rigor approach to these faster paced strategy decisions. An approach that allows the decision team to still include a high level consideration of uncertainty in situations where the scale of the decision does not warrant a lengthy analysis. And remember, if the risks are high and outcomes uncertain, we strongly recommend a full stochastic analysis and do caution against overconfidence in this simplified tool. Let's start the how to. I have the full Decision Strategies toolbox installed on my computer, so I can open the application by clicking on the Decision Strategies icon. If your IT policy does not allow the download of applications, then you will have to download each tool template file individually, find the files on your machine, and then open them directly. To open a new tool, we'll click the Launch New Template icon. I'll select Qualitative Decision Tree and click Open. We're prompted to save the file as an Excel macro-enabled workbook. I'll save this as demo.xlsm and save it to my desktop so it's easy to find later. To summarize the introduction, this tool is most often employed by organizations that wish to incorporate a structured discussion of uncertainty into their decisions, but must act within a short window of time. These organizations are often tasked with making frequent decisions, each of which alone may not have a large impact, but in aggregate they can affect the company's performance over time. When any single strategic decision carries great risk, either because the capital at stake is high or because the ramifications of making the wrong decision can be severe, then we at Decision Strategies strongly recommend a more detailed and probability-based modeling endeavor. To give an example, I'll quickly switch screens to a demo model that runs a very basic probabilistic simulation. Here I'll quickly show a more complex probabilistic model. You see we have our uncertain variables defined by distribution curves that reflect their range of possible outcomes. Each time the model steps through a new iteration, all the variables change to new values in accordance with their distribution ranges. We have a set of calculation pages tied to these variables. And as you can see, the calculations also update on each iteration. We run the model thousands of times with the computer recording each result. We do this for each strategy and can then see how each performs across the range of uncertain outcomes. In this example, you can see that some strategies may be very good some of the time, but also carry a high probability of losing great amounts of money under unfavorable conditions. Let's return back now to our more basic tool. Returning now to our qualitative decision tree tool, let's scroll down on the introduction page and click the next button to proceed to step one. We are brought to the Strategic Themes page, where in Step 1, we can enter the project name. For this demo, I will type over the examples already in the tool. Of course, for your project, you will enter different information in each cell. 
Our example will be the market expansion project. We then proceed to step two, where we name and describe our strategies under consideration, our strategic themes. We want to generate truly unique strategies and give each an evocative name. Our first strategy we'll call Go Big. And in this strategy, we said we'll be big everything, no cost spared. Our next strategy we called Close to Home and define that as aggressively pursuing the domestic market. We called our third strategy Cautious Traveler and said in that strategy would be a cost-effective approach to participating in the world markets. With our strategic themes named and defined, we scroll down and click the next button to bring us to the uncertainty definition page. Here we identify the top three uncertainties whose future outcomes will have the greatest impact on whether or not we chose the correct strategy. In our example, our top uncertainties are market share, which we define as the percentage of the market the company will control, transportation costs, which are the cost to transport the product to market, and our third uncertainty is annual OPEX, which we says the annual cost to operate the plant. With our top uncertainties named and described, we scroll to step four, where we must then describe what a high outcome and a low outcome would be for each uncertainty. For our market share uncertainty, we said a high outcome will be greater than 20% of the market share. And a low outcome for the market share uncertainty is less than 20% of the market share. For transportation cost, we said a high outcome for that uncertainty is over $100 a ton. and a low outcome is less than $100 a ton. And for annual OPEX, we said a high outcome will be more than $50 million a year, and a low outcome would be less than $50 million a year. Now that we have our uncertainties named and described, as well as a description for a high and low outcome for each uncertainty, we scroll down and hit the next button. In step five, we must make a judgment as to which strategy we would choose if we somehow could know in advance the outcome of each uncertainty. Said another way, if we could travel to the future and found ourselves in a specific scenario below, which strategy would we wish we would have chosen now? For our example, let's say that if the market share is low, but our transportation costs are also low, we'd be happier if we chose the cautious traveler approach. Likewise, for this next scenario, despite that OPEX is higher. Now, if our market share is low and our transportation costs are high, then maybe we'd wish we had chosen the close to home strategy. Then perhaps when market share is high and transportation is low, we like the go big strategy. And when market share is high but transportation high, we once again prefer close to home. Here we have our first insight. Not once did operating costs change our decision. When transportation costs were low, we went international, and when they were high, we stayed domestic. When we did go international, the size of our implementation was governed by the market share, going big when share was high and choosing cautious traveler when share was low. Now let's continue to step six. Step six gives us the opportunity to set dependent relationships between the uncertainties if we so desire. The uncertainty entered in the leftmost box will be completely independent. The high and low outcome probabilities associated with the uncertainty in the middle box 
can be set differently depending upon the outcome of the uncertainty to the left. Likewise, the probabilities for the uncertainty in the rightmost box can be set dependent upon the outcomes of both uncertainties to its left. For our example, we'll enter transportation costs as the leftmost uncertainty. We'll place annual OPEX in the center box, as maybe the probabilities associated with high and low operating costs will change in a world of higher or lower transportation costs. And the rightmost uncertainty will enter market share, as perhaps the market share we capture is dependent upon our prices, which we may have to raise or lower dependent upon our cost. We then scroll down to step seven, where we must enter the probabilities for each branch of the tree containing a yellow input cell. For our example, let's say that the probability of a high outcome for transportation cost is 60%. If we scroll down to the low outcome, we see that the tool then calculates the probability to 40%. We then continue to the probability of a high OPEX outcome, given that transportation costs were high. For our example, let's say that this probability is 60%. We then look at the probability of a high OPEX outcome if transportation costs were instead low. Let's say that this probability is now 45%, as we think that our operating costs will likely be lower if our transportation costs are lower. For the sake of time, I'll now quickly enter the probabilities for market share using similar logic. We then click the next button and proceed to the results page. Here we see that we have a clear preference for the close to home strategy. And 60% of the time, we'd be happiest had we picked this strategy. Let's think about the meaning of this result further and click the understanding the results button. To recap, we clearly defined our options and had a meaningful conversation about the uncertainties with which each strategy would need to contend. We then talked about the likelihood of each combination of uncertain outcomes and learned that 60% of the time we'd be happiest with the close to home strategy. For many decisions, this is the perfect amount of rigor, particularly if we must make our decision quickly and the magnitude of the impact of the decision alone is manageable and within our tolerance for risk. What the tool did not tell us though, is how bad the outcome will be in the 40% of the time in which it turns out to be the wrong choice. Nor do we know how good the other strategies are when they do turn out to be the correct strategy. We lack the magnitude of the ramifications of our decision. We only know which choice we'd most often wish we choose. For greater insight, we turn to the full probabilistic modeling as mentioned earlier in this video. To learn more about how decision strategies approaches major decisions and advice on the best approach to your particular situation, please contact Decision Strategies today, www.decisionstrategies.com. Our veteran consultants are happy to have a conversation.